All right, this is Ethan with Tail Colors Fly Shop, and we're gonna go ahead and get our hook in the vise. And no bead on this one that we're tying right now, and we're gonna start wrapping thread. Doesn't really matter where you start, I just always end up starting somewhere. When I don't do a bead, usually I leave a little bit of a gap, but take it to the bend of the hook, cut the tag off, and this first bit here is partridge feather, this is really fluffy stuff near what would be, I guess, the rump, uh, the underside of the bird. You can just use white marabou or gray marabou if you have it, but we're going to keep that really short because the idea behind this fly is you're imitating really small bait fish, and so you don't need this really long tail to do that properly. Um, so I'm just going to do winding it down and then winding it back up towards the eye I'm going to cut that. You can see it's a pretty flat and even layer, so it's good and secure. I always like to kind of hit the bare hook and then continue back on. That way the material doesn't roll as much. And then we get to the complex part. Well, it's not really complex, but if you don't have a partridge skin, you can always just get a grab bag of partridge and this will work. But we're looking for five distinct feathers. Three of them are going to be smaller, so we're going to take that towards the neck of the bird. And I'll grab three, just kind of going from smallest to largest. Then I take a brownish red from the wing and then a larger webby one from the wing as well. So in sequence, again, this is going to be five feathers. Let's go smallest to largest. We have the brownish red and then the large one. So those are the feathers that we're going to be using. So taking the smallest one, your right hand, grab it by the tip, left hand, stroke down the fibers. This is feather one. We're going to go ahead and cut that making a tying anchor. You're going to tie that little triangle in and that's just going to help your thread and you as you wrap it have a grip um, so you're not constantly pulling out the feather or breaking it. Breaking it happens, you know, that happens to the best of us. But And we are going to try to get all these to go backwards. Just a little interesting with a camera two inches away from you, but just making a couple of wraps around the hook. I'm somewhat pleased with it. Okay, there we go. So all those fibers are going backwards. So I'm holding them in place with my left hand and I'm wrapping the stem. I like to go back just a little bit to kind of wrap those in, make sure that this stem doesn't come undone. Um, I will show you one more time with the feather, and then I'll probably go slow-mo, or, or not slow-mo, super speed for the rest of them. So again, I just cut the tying anchor. This is feather two. I'm going to tie that in a little bit in front of the last one that I just tied in. Left hand, stroke those fibers back. Yeah, this one's going to like me a little bit more. That all just depends on the feather. The last one is really thin, so it's kind of wanting to do whatever. Plus, again, there's a camera right in front of me. Excuses, all right. So we have wound that up. Again, going to tie off the stem. My left hand is just kind of holding it in place, holding it tight. Then we will cut the stem, and we're going to do that three more times. Now, I like to take the brown or reddish feather on this one because it's going to kind of give an impression of gills or fins. Uh, it could be in my head, but that's the one that I usually like to do next to last. 
So go ahead and tie it in and wind it up the same way. Right, now we are on our last feather, and that is the biggest of all. And you don't have to use all of it, and also you'll notice I trim it a lot farther back, because we don't need those really tiny feathers on this last one, we want the longer feathers. I'm just gonna trim that up. I'll get that little extra bit that's sticking out there in a second. And this is it. Completed mini motos, just like the motos minnow, which is the bigger version of this. I'm going to go ahead and whip finish. And we are done. And you can do this fly in whatever color you can get partridge in. Um, it's a really simple, smaller bait fish pattern that looks good. It's all natural materials. Uh, I fish it a lot in the winter in this just all natural, which is kind of gray, black, white. Um, you could put a bead on it and, or a tungsten bead on a jig hook um, and olives, all sorts of stuff like that. I'll, I'll put a clip of one other one that I like to fish at the end of this, but a little bit of super glue and that is good. That will catch you some fish right there. Mini motos. <laughs> Thank you.